Hello YouTubers. Um, stop doing that. Oh, I had a bit. I suppose well we've all had colds, but um, I must stop doing that. Particularly when you're on camera. Not a good idea. So I'm not been on for a little while because I've been busy at work and also very knackered in the evenings. And not only that, it's um, cold up in the loft doing all this, but. Um, quite a milder day today so what I was going to do I've had a couple of ideas to doing something for Ringo's challenge which I may or may not get around to doing it because I was going to finish my English Civil War pikemen finish the pikes and get them ready and put them in a box that was what I was going to do because they're just sitting there without the pikes it seems a bit pointless them pointless <laughs> no pun there a bit pointless them not having the, the pikes so I was going to do that, make a box big enough for them to actually sit in without bending their bending their weapons. Matron. But I've also got something to show you from um, the trip that I made this weekend for my brother's 50th birthday. We went to the Jorvik Centre, as you have to do when you go to York. I think this is the third time I've been, it's changed again. First time I went there was when I was 21 and the, the trip and the overhead um, ski lift thingies was probably about um, altogether maybe five minutes but now it's a much longer trip I don't know maybe 10-15 minutes something like that but it seemed a lot longer in there so I will show you what I got there which will be of great interest to Mr Von Ketteringham I would imagine hey so this is what I remembered from the last time I went to Jorvik which must have been about eight years ago that they were selling these figures and I quite fancied getting them then so I had a look for them in the shop this time and thought yep got to get them this time I paid 10.95 for them or something ridiculous which you can probably get them on Amazon or other suppliers for a lot cheaper than that but what the hell you don't go to Jorvik every day so it's also a, a reminder of my trip there. So what I'm going to do now, after I've turned them over, there's 50 figures in here. They're poseable, paintable, and can be glued. And they're 172. Small little painting guide on the back, but of course you can make up your mind whatever you do. Um, with them and there is no way I'm going to be using that. I might use the red cloak but uh, as for the rest of it, the beauty of it is just to do what you feel like. Okay, so oh and they're made of China. So here we are, let's see how the zoom is going to work. We have blokes so we have some swordsmen across the top um, if you look closely at these actually they have got some grain on the inside of the shields which is a nice touch they've got some archers there which are a bit um, unlikely in a viking army they didn't like to use bows and arrows because it was cowardly but they've put them in there anyway basically the Vikings would like to fight man to man, toe to toe stiff upper lip chin to chin some more swordsmen there and another one and we've got some guys with an axe and a dagger guy there who will be holding a spear they have the spears down here Five spearmen. A few more spearmen would have been nice. Um, some more swordsmen up the top there. And again, with some guys with axes, hus huskarls. More guys there who could hold axes or swords. So we've got four spare axes there. Uh, 
And some more guys there who could hold swords or spears perhaps. And then they've got some guys down here who would be holding spears and we also have two command figures there and some guys with arms that can be posed down here. They also have very detailed tunics. There's a lot of good detail on these and the armour on these guys is very good. Um, if we look at these guys here, what I'll do is when I, I base these I'll do some better close-ups as well. So yeah, all the detail of the the mail is there. Shields very well done, leather armour, padded armour. So quite a lot of poses in there as well. I was tempted to buy two or three sets, but then you just go mad and you'd have to buy Saxons as well. So I'm going to try and find the MHR Saxons, see how much they go for. There's even a mace in here apparently, uh, which is of course totally wrong. I haven't found it yet, but I'll find it. So there you go. May well get started on those soon. Okay, bye for now.